So let's get through this one. Again, guys, this one's asking you just to simplify. The problem did say, though, you can simplify to an um, expression. We're not just going to be using a singular quantity. Um, as I mentioned, though, when I taught this, one of the tips that I gave you guys was first thing is if you guys are getting stuck with these, just replace like cosine of x with just x. Just replace it. And think about it. If I was going to ask you on a problem to simplify x squared plus 2x plus 1, what in the history of your math education have you had to do when you had a trinomial like that to simplify? You had to factor it, right? And you basically said, what two numbers multiply to give you 1 that add to give you 2? Oh, x plus 1 times x plus 1. You could do quadratic formula as well, but it would take it's much more effort than here, right? And then this ends up giving you x plus 1 squared, correct? Well, since I did all this work and I factored, I, I replaced cosine of x with x, now, since I factored it, I can just replace this back with cosine squared of x. I'm sorry, cosine of x, sorry. Cosine of x plus 1 squared. Done. And remember, I usually always said put it as one single quantity, right? But in your directions for this problem, they said you can leave them as, you know, you can leave it as an expression. Yes? For our final class, is only multiple choice? Yes. So if you the two Okay, I've never had one. We had one last year. Yeah, I want a real one. Just like this. You didn't ask me where the 2 went when I did this. Right? I just factored this. What two numbers multiply to give you 2, add, multiply to give you 1, add to give you 2? x plus 1 times x plus 1. It's just the same thing. I just replaced x with cosine of x. Same thing. Right? See it? 